In this video, we will show you how to set up screens and navigation using containers. Containers are a new and powerful concept which help to create unique user interfaces. For this video, we will use a project that has already been created. Expand the folder UI. As we've seen in other Getting Started videos, the main window contains all the graphical elements. Now let's have a look into the different types of containers. Make a right click on Main Window to open the context menu. Select New Containers. This list shows all the available containers. The panel is a simple container that can be used as a base for elements. The horizontal and vertical layout containers can be used to organize objects in a row or a column. These objects can be any UI control or even other containers. Scale layout automatically resizes the elements it contains. The scroll view container is useful if you have content which may be bigger than the size of your display. The scroll view container supports multi-touch gestures like zoom in or zoom out. The panel loader container can be used to dynamically load different screens into the same place or container. The navigation panel is a predefined panel to create tab-based navigation. The drop-down button can open and close a pop-up panel. We skipped some of the elements and we will discuss that later in another video. First, let's change the size of the main window that will be the default size of the project. Select it in the project view, make a double click to use the handles or change the properties for its size in the property window. We are going to use the vertical layout container to create a project with a header, footer, and container that can be loaded with different panels or screens. Like other containers, vertical layout provides properties like width and height regarding the size and horizontal and vertical alignment regarding the position. The newly created container will be automatically inserted under the element main window, which had focus before. Open the context menu of main window, select new, containers, and then vertical layout. Each new element that will be added under the container will be placed on a vertical axis to the layout from top to bottom. To adapt the size of the newly created container to its parent, which is the main window, set the horizontal and vertical alignment to stretch. No matter what size our main window is, the panel will now adapt automatically to that size. Let's add a panel container to the vertical layout, which will be used as the header. Rename the panel to header to better organize the project. Now we can add the other elements to the vertical layout. Select New, Container, then Panel Loader. Add another panel, which will be used as the footer. As you can see, the elements will be automatically added, one after the other, to the vertical layout. Now let's change the properties of the added panels to fit into this layout. The header and footer should only use a specific area of the screen, so let's change the properties. They should use the whole width of the screen. So let's set horizontal alignment to stretch and the height to a specific value. Add a label to header so that it can be distinguished from the other containers. Right click on header, select new, base controls, then double click label. Change the text to header. We will change a few properties of the label to ensure the font is large enough to view and the text in the label matches the container name. We will change the horizontal alignment to center and the left margin to zero so that the label maintains its position. We would like to see that the panel loader uses all available remaining space, independent from the header and footer. 
so the alignment has to be stretch for both the horizontal and vertical layout. Now we are going to add the screens that will be loaded into the panel loader container. Create a new folder where we organize our panels. Select the context menu of the UI, select new and folder. You can rename the folder, such as screens or panels. We will create two screens to demonstrate how they can be loaded during runtime using the panel loader. Add a panel container, leaving the default name of panel one. As we want the panel to be the same size as the panel loader container, change the vertical and horizontal alignment to stretch. Let's add a label so it's easier to see when each panel is loaded. The label can be added from the UI folder or from the type view. From the type view, select user interface, then base controls. Drag and drop the label element to the panel. We will change a few properties of the panel label similar to what we did for the header label. Let's copy panel one and change its label to panel two. Finally, we'll add a few buttons to the footer that control what panel is loaded. Double-click the footer panel from the vertical layout to open it in the object editor. Drag and drop a button from the tight view. Rename the text label to panel one. Next, let's add an event to open the panels at runtime. Expand mouse click event. Expand Panel Loader 1 and select the Change Panel method. Under the input argument, click the dynamic link, expand screens and select Panel 1. Copy button 1 to create a second button for Panel 2. Change the button label text to Panel 2. Click the dynamic link next to New Panel and select Panel 2 from the screen's folder. Let's use the emulator to test the project. The header and footer are visible with the elements that we added. Click the Panel 1 button, then the Panel 2 button to see the two panels loaded. We've just created a simple application that shows how to use alignment in navigation containers. Thanks for watching.